Hi boys and girls! In today's science lesson, you will be making a model of forces in a situation. And we're going to be studying something called an ice board as we make our force models. So let's take a look. Many people have seen skateboards like this before. We found someone who took a normal skateboard like this and made some changes to it at home. Let's see what they did. As you're watching this video, think about what's different about this skateboard. And think about what surface is the skateboard sitting on. If you want, this is a good time to talk to somebody in your house about what you're noticing. This is called an ice board. Let's watch it in action. In the next few slides, we're going to try and figure out a few things about how the ice board works just by studying these pictures. Now, we're not going to make an actual see, think, wonder chart in like a Google Doc or anything, but if you have a science journal or some scratch paper, it's probably a good idea to jot your thinking down so that you can come back to it later. First, let's do C. What parts do you see that the ice board is made of? Jot down the things that you see they used to make the ice board. Okay, next step. How do you think the ice board works? Jot your answers down in the think column of your chart. Last week, we talked about forces and pushes and pulls. If you think those are involved, add that to your chart as well. Last bit, what do you wonder about the ice board? Put questions that you have that you are wondering about somewhere on your paper as well. All right, let's do an interview with the guy that built the ice board. He says, hi, I built the ice board and I love writing it. You're going to try and figure out how it works. This is important because you're going to design a new ice board at the end of this unit. People have been building things to get around on ice for a long time. I learned a lot just by studying pictures of what other people had built. Let's take a look at a few of those pictures. These people are testing an early design for something to get around on the ice. How do you think they use it? How is it similar to the ice board? How is it different? This person is testing another early design for something to get around on the ice. How do you think he uses it? How is it similar to the ice board? But how is it different? So you saw a video of the ice board. Why don't we have videos of these people? Why do we only have black and white photos? This is another good spot to talk to someone near you if you haven't been doing that already. So many people have figured out how to build and use things like my ice board. You can figure it out too. In this unit, you're going to learn that understanding pushes and pulls will let you do so many cool things. It's okay if you aren't sure how the ice board works yet. You'll learn more and more as you go through each lesson in this unit. You'll use a sheet 
or in our case, a jam, to record what we learn after each lesson. Don't worry if it isn't perfect. You'll update your sheet, or your jam, several times. So, instead of using the iceboard worksheet, you are going to use a jam board. I made the background the exact same as the worksheet, so when you're working on this, do not change the background, otherwise you'll lose the worksheet. But having it in a Jamboard means you can use text boxes to type your thinking, and you can use the drawing tools to draw arrows and add things in that way. You're going to add labels and arrows and things like that to explain your thinking about how the ice board works. You don't need to add any more pages to your jam. We're just going to work on this first page. Actually, you could add another page or two if you wanted to put your see, wonder, and think uh, notes into your jam, just so you have everything in one place. But that's optional. Mostly we're going to be working on this first page of the jam, because this is where you're going to be drawing things and adding labels to explain how the ice board works. Okay, have fun, and that's all for now. See you in the next video.